Hi there, Doja Disciples. Sean Orange here. We teased this on our Instagram, and also, uh, if you came here from the That's Orange vlog, welcome. Uh, but uh, we have here a box Satella view, which is a pretty unexpected thing to find, uh, because when a Satella view um, and the uh, BSX service uh, was no more, you could send in your unit box and everything uh, to get a refund, essentially. So it's really, really unusual to find one in the wild still. But here it is, and um, we're going to take really good care of it, because uh, I don't get to keep this. And... Uh, I think I'll have my hive, so let's just get this bad boy out of here for the moment. Yeah, okay, so if you haven't seen one of these before, it's an add-on for the satellite service um, St. Giga uh, for in just Japan only for the Super Famicom here. So we're going to bust this bad boy open. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. So this is the unit itself. There's the front. Uh, we got our uh, access light for the uh, satellite service and then the power light right there. Um, this plugs into the bottom of the Super Famicom right there. It's probably going to get done before we do our Super Famicom episode at all, uh, but this is essentially the only peripheral that came out that actually uses the expansion ports um, on either the US and Japanese versions of the hardware. We got another expansion port inside of here, which is a different pin configuration. So I don't think it's something as simple as a pass through. It might be um, something else you could plug into here. So we'll have to research that. But it looks like you just seat it in there. Um, like these feet you have around here um, are for the feet of the Super Famicom. So, all right, let's put that off to the side for the moment. Okay, and then we have this bad boy, which I'll. Uh, explain in a minute. Um, our AC power. You can't plug it directly into the back of this unit here, but that is not what you're going to do with it. Um, the uh, AB Satellaview selector, which we will also explain. I feel like Major Nelson right now unboxing an Xbox One. And uh, directions, and this is the really crazy part is that um, this is about the, the satellite service itself right here. Really cool stuff. Um, hey, you know what? I forgot to put it back in the box. The thing you're also supposed to see, let's just, let's just fake this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, look, there's also this cartridge in here. <laughs> um, and you got right there the, uh, the RAM cartridge and then the... Uh, actual pass through for you know using the service here so that matches up with this bad boy right there um, yeah the really crazy thing about this is that uh, we have our AV selector right here it's very complicated there's inputs and outputs all up, all up the wazoo in this thing but this is a really crazy thing right so uh, Nintendo really wanted to make sure that you knew how this whole thing worked so we've got our basic hookup diagrams here and tells you what all the pieces do, which is really, really cool in like, you know, one configuration. But they have this entire thick manual, the thickest manual that's in there. And uh, it shows just about every conceivable configuration that you would possibly want to create uh, for your home setup. And uh, really, 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 really helpful for when I hooked this up, put it together for... Uh, for use on my television. So uh, let's do that real quick. All right, so we got a base unit, pretty basic there. Um, we're just going to take our expansion port off and stick this bad boy right on top. Baby, okay, that is real snug. And you can kind of see, especially back here, that um, the space unit's a lot more yellowed. I have a more yellowed uh, a Super Famicom that really goes with it, but um, this is the one that works better, so. Uh, you screw these in, nothing comes loose, um, and this is the spot where the cable will come out for that interior uh, expansion port that we mentioned earlier, but we want, we want this back port part anyway. So the first thing I mentioned was uh, this piece right here, and now unlike, uh, say, the Sega CD, which required you to have two different uh, AC adapters, or three if you had um, the 32X add-on, uh, this bad boy is going to let you power um, both units from uh, one spot here. So this is actually an AC adapter out, um, and you just stick that right on there, and that goes into your Famicom. It's even labeled. It's got its own part number. Oh, okay, and then we got these two bad boys too. So let's grab our AV selector right here. 
So we have um, both a, a BS in and a DC in. So this is going to be our power, which, um, nope, can't plug it in here, uh, but we can plug it in there. Right in there, okay? And then this is the BS in. And I'll explain what that does in a minute. But uh, okay, so good to go. Well, now where does the power go? Well, we have our AC adapter here, and it could plug straight into that jack there. Uh, but, um, you know, the, the, the big part of the service is what the selector can do. So we're going to plug that right in there into the uh, AC input right there. Okay. Uh, we have these, uh, and this is what will actually go to your television. Uh, and then we have even more AV cable stuff. Although for uh, our purposes, what we're really going to want to do um, is just use these three. I'm actually going to do it right now, but you would take the multi out, stick them in here, and then this AV selector would um, do a bunch of signal processing if it needed to uh, with um, the satellite. So the last cable we have is this guy right here. Um, and this is an input from uh, your actual satellite tuner. So this thing is more like a modem. It just gets data um, through this cable. Um, as well as some other stuff that you can do synchronously. So you, could, you would download your stuff, you would stick your cartridge in. Let's do that right now. Stick your cartridge in. Ba -dum, ba -dum. And uh, now, you have that, now that you have that cartridge in there, um, you can download games onto your RAM cart here. But more than that, uh, certain games like the uh, Mario-themed Excitebike uh, would actually uh, channel sound through it, like right directly through the expansion port out through the unit itself. Uh, so that would only work, um, unlike having like a downloadable file like an MP3, actually had to be broadcast simultaneously to everyone using it, so it was only between certain times. You had to have your stuff hooked up, had to have the game downloaded, and um, it would have music and voice acting, like, you know, stuff that the Super Famicom couldn't produce on its own without like a huge bulky cartridge pack of some kind. It's an interesting idea, but obviously another service is no longer provided. You can't really get that stuff anymore and it's lost forever. Probably. So yeah, that's the basics of the Satella view. Um, we look forward to doing a full on review of this later on. Due to the fact it's really hard to find um, the cartridges that you could possibly need to run the software properly apart from the handful that we have already, we uh, will probably have to resort to the dreaded E word, but I don't feel like spending thousands of dollars to collect every variation of the Excite Bike Boom Boom Mario Battle Stadium. All right, boys and girls, thanks for watching. Babacom Dojo. I think it's safe to say now is the time to subscribe.